Gimli drove his axe blade deep into an orc's chest, then, grunting with effort, pulled it free and swung at his foe's neck. Nearby, Legolas reached back to retrieve another elven arrow, only to grasp empty air. No arrows left. Putting his bow away, he drew a pair of twin swords and twirled them about, eyeing each of the surrounding Urukai. Aragorn was in a distinctly separate part of the same battlefield that was obstructed from view by massive boulders, the steep hillside, and a sparse population of twisted, aging trees. He fought back to back with Boromir, who currently had a Gondorian shield out in front of him, with his sword perched readily along the top. The two glanced over their shoulders at each other and both saw fearless rangers, then turned back to face their enemies once more. Cyrus, the tenth member of the Fellowship, had his own hands full with an uruk defender. He skillfully spun to the side to dodge a spear thrust, giving him sufficient momentum to follow through with a ferocious counterswing. The head of his knob carry easily cracked through his opponent's wooden shield and sent it stumbling off balance. A boot knocked the day's uruk to the ground. Cyrus screamed in utter triumph at the cloudy sky as he stood over his fallen enemy, savoring the glory of the moment. A soft breeze caressed his face and cooled the sweat in his beard. One of the hobbits came running up just then. It was the bravest one, Samwise. Cyrus stepped back and allowed him to stab a dagger down into the Urukai's face with both hands firmly grasping the handle. Was that the last of them? Gandalf called out. Saruman's forces were pulling back now, retreating over the hillside for dear life. Cyrus, Gimli, and Legolas started to give chase, but Gandalf called them off and instead had everyone regroup. This battle was only the first of many. Obviously, such a small contingent wasn't sent to kill them, but to test their resolve, to try and break their will. Grinning proudly but wary of the possible future at the same time, Gandalf the White focused his thoughts on his former mentor. We shan't be fell so easily, Saruman. Only time will tell, old friend, came a whispered response. <laughs>